Okay, hi guys. So, finally I'm going to do my garage sale haul. Um, obviously this is not all of the stuff that I've gotten from garage sales since the last time I did a garage sale haul, but, um, and I needed to do this video so I can put some of this stuff away because I've been gathering it all and um, I can't really put it away until I show you. So I'm kind of tripping over stuff in my living room and I need to take care of it. So the first thing I wanted to say is that um, one of the things that is really easy to make and um, is something that you can trade on uh, witchy trade sites or um, sell like I have an Etsy shop and I sell it on my Etsy shop 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 um, and I also include it in some of my altars and stuff like I make up altar boxes and altar kits uh, is witchy soaps really easy I do uh, liquid soap um, that hardens and turns into non-liquid soap to show you because I forgot. Sorry, guys. I'm a duck. Okay. Um, and I don't like the harsh chemicals and stuff. Like, I don't use lye in my soap. I know you're supposed to, but I don't like that. Um, so, I put... Ooh, can you see that? Yep. I put the um, pure castile soap. Um, you know, Dr. Bronner's. So, I put some of that into when I'm doing my soaps. Um, I use that. I use, wow, I should have been more prepared, but I was, because it was garage sale stuff, I didn't really think about showing, eh, I can't find my coconut oil. Um, and so I put coconut oil, Dr. Bronner's, uh, and beeswax, melt it, put, uh, essential oils in, and, um, whatever herbs I want, and then I pour them into the molds, and they come out great. So the reason I'm talking about that when I'm talking about garage sale stuff is because I have in the last couple months, I've gotten a whole big basket of stuff to um, make my soaps from garage sales. So let me show you. First of all, I love these bowls because they pour really nicely and easily. And I have to, um, like, I want to keep them separately from the stuff that we would cook with. You know, I think my husband would probably kill me. He's the cook. Thank goodness I don't have to. Um, and then the molds that I have found lately, guys, is amazing. Keep your eyes out because the silicone baking sheets that are in molds, uh, in mold shapes now, work great for these soaps. So, like, I got... This one is little stars and see it's the silicone ones that you can put in the oven and everything but you don't have to put them in the oven if you're doing soaps so uh, I got this one I think I paid like a quarter for it um, because when people want to get rid of baking stuff at garage sales they're really not selling them for a whole lot even stuff like silicone stuff I found these two <clears throat> I paid 50 cents for both of them and they're, look at their little scullies and um, pumpkins. So that'll be great around Samhain time. Um, <clears throat> I found a woman whose mother was 90 something years old. And when she died, she was going through her house and getting, you know, stuff together for an estate sale and taking what she wanted. And she opened up her spare bedroom and <laughs> she was, uh, this woman, 92 year old woman, was a QVC aholic. Like, apparently her whole bedroom was full of stuff that she never did anything with. She said she had baking supplies in there, that, and she never baked, ever. And she had, ton, like, still in the boxes and everything. So this stuff that I got was brand new QVC baking stuff. Look at how cute those little stars are. They're going to be great for soaps. Good size. Wait, those ones are cute for spraying their little flowers. How cute. And then like little sheets and silicone bakeware instructions. I they had she had these whole kits. Um and I got two different kits. 
I don't know what I'll do with that, but that can be a cake or something. So maybe I'll use it for cake, but I don't. I, that's not true. I actually like to bake, but I don't go in the kitchen very much because my husband filmed. Um, and then the other kit that I got from the same woman. These kind of look like little jello molds. And I was saying I might be, um, I could make uh, lotion bars. Have you ever heard of lotion bars? That they um, end up hard. Look how cute is that? I don't know what I'm going to do with the bigger ones, but I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with those. But, so look, and um, Goodwill and garage sales and all that kind of stuff, I always look for this little silicone mold. And um, so these two I got at Goodwill. Look at that is uh, for Yule time. And that is little dinosaurs and they're actually jello jello molds so um, they'll work great for my soaps too though um, and then I got why is there other crap in here what else oh I found that's good for Yule time little gingerbread men and I got oh little eggs Ostara um, yeah, these are supposed to be for Jello. You know, you put Jello in them and let them harden and stuff. But totally, so works. Uh, little flowers. Is that all the molds? Oh no, I got little bears. But yeah, I paid ninety nine cents, and there's oh, one, two, three, four, four little molds in there. Um. Oh, that was the idea for the big baking pan ones. Look at, I got cookie cutters. I can kind of cut the soaps up with cookie cutters. There's a thing for like St. Patrick's Day and which I don't celebrate St. Patrick himself. Although apparently that's a myth that he drove the pagans out. I guess that that was really a myth. Um, but there's stars in there and there's just regular um, squares and I only paid 99 cents for that whole bag so definitely look at Goodwill and garage sales and stuff for molds for soaps uh, I got at the Dollar Tree I believe little plastic travel bottles that have a spray and uh, they were a buck a piece. So I get them sometimes. I don't use um, plastic if I'm using a lot of essential oil because they will eat through. So be aware of that. Um, and then these little tins uh, actually have a magnet on them. So you can put like herbs and stuff in them. And um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but they were a dollar. So I knew that I could figure something out with them. Uh, oh. I'm going to use these I got at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use these for the lip balm. If you watched my last video, I was talking about getting the patchouli um, lip stuff. No, perfumes. I'm going to make lip balm also. But these are good either for perfumes or <laughs> patchouli lip balm. Did I really just say that? Guys, it's the full moon. So... You know, you have to realize that my brain is skipping a little bit. You know, I know it, the full moon technically isn't until Sunday, but it's, it's here. Because, you know, the day before, the day after, full moon energy. So these are good for lip balms and or the hard perfumes. So I can use them for either. And they were a buck for all of, you know, the whole rainbow full. So that's good. Um... Alright, so that's, I mean, I got a couple other little stupid things. I got the cups. I can put um, either soaps or herbs or something, and then I have the little lids. When I'm doing trades, uh, it's hard sometimes to find stuff to put the, the herbs in when I'm trading people for, you know, a smaller amount of herbs or whatever. Okay, I'm not going to put everything away, but I am going to move it out of my way so I can move on. Alright, so that is soap making stuff. I have a whole basket of soap making stuff. Now, 
other stuff. Okay, isn't that pretty? And I put a little candle in there. And when you light the candle, hold on. It's so pretty. So I bought this at a garage sale for 50 cents. Isn't that pretty? I love that. Love it. Um, so if you saw, oh, you didn't see. So I made this video once already. I was just watching a two spirit video where he thought he was recording for like 20 minutes and I did this whole video and thought it was recording. Actually, it was kind of recording, but apparently it was a low battery. So somewhere it stopped recording and I just stopped. That was like a month ago. That's why this video is taking me so long because I felt like I already did it. But anyways, a tip for a garage sale is to look for men. Men are much better uh, when you want to have bargains because they don't really, most of them get annoyed not with you, but they're like, Ugh, I have all this stuff and I want to get rid of it. So they're like, yeah, five bucks, whatever, take it. Get it out of here. Quarter, go ahead, take it. I have gotten more good deals from men than I have from women ever. Because women, we emotionally attach to stuff. And then we don't really want to give it away, but we know we kind of have to. So then we want to charge what it's worth. And once the man has decided it's time to go, usually he's like, Puh, out of here, that's fine. Um... So, I paid 50 cents for that candle holder. I got some beautiful boxes recently. I love wooden boxes. If you have seen this channel before, you know that um, boxes, bottles, boxes, bottles, jars, containers, something about witchy people, we like containers a lot. So anyways, I thought I could put um, tarot decks in here, you know, the mini tarot decks. I thought that would be a good container for a couple mini tarot decks. If not, I'm sure I will find something else. I loved this tin. This tin I paid a buck for uh, at Sabres. And, um, you know, it has a little moon on there and it's black. And it was in great shape. And I paid a buck. Love that. Uh, this would box. Again, I've been trying to find stuff to put my tarot decks in. To make it look pretty instead of just all shoved over there um, this oh this box opens look at it opens from the bottom and I had to put oil or something on it I think I tried to put coconut oil on it so it's better but it's like a little secret lid and I really like this box and it could definitely fit tarot decks in there I don't know if that's what I'm going to end up putting in it or not. I'm not sure yet. But I loved that one. And I paid, uh, I think I paid $2 for it. But I think I made him throw something else in too. I can't remember what now. But it was really cheap. These I got at Goodwill recently. Look at, are they not the cutest little things? I can totally put essential oils, potions, whatever the heck I want in them and they're really cute and I paid 50 cents a piece because they were like on the color that was half off and they were a buck so I paid a buck for both of them. Love those. Uh, scarves. Scarves are a great thing to find at garage sales especially. I found at Goodwill they overcharge I think for them but at garage sales people are like just get them out of here. We don't want them anymore. And look at this one. I got all of these scarves for a buck a piece from the same woman. And it's huge. I could totally use that for an altar cloth. I can use it to put my hair up. And it's got peacock feathers, which my spirit animal, peacocks. Uh, this one I got from the same woman, a dollar. This is huge. And it's totally, could totally be a great altar cloth. So either I will keep it or I will use it as an altar cloth for one of my Etsy altars. Same thing. This one I probably will keep for my hair because I love purple. And it's not really as wide. But I still could use it for an altar cloth and a smaller altar. Love them. Love them, love them, love them. And 
really cheap. Usually, if somebody's getting rid of scarves, they have a bunch, and you can pick out a bunch, and altar cloths, totally. I have a whole box. Oh, I did bring it. I have a whole box of fabric that I bought that I can use for altar cloths. So, my hubby is <laughs> totally in with the Goodwill thing. All of a sudden, this year, he's decided he really likes Goodwill, and he got me this yesterday. Look at he paid $2.99 and I'm trying to remember if he said that was the color. If that was the case then he really paid a buck fifty. And doesn't that totally look like the wheel of the year? I kept saying I can totally use that for like holidays and stuff as the wheel of the year. And it's actually a bottle so I can put something in it. Although it doesn't stink. So I don't know if I would trust it to put anything you were going to ingest. But it would be okay for um, stuff like Florida water or storm water, something like that. And, and I just love that. It's so pretty and antique -y and vintage looking. Okay. I got two of these. And I paid 50 cents a piece. And if you don't know what it is, ta-da! See? Um, so totally, I don't know. I'm probably going to keep one and sell one on my Etsy shop. I like this one better. I think I decided I'm going to keep this one. Isn't that cute? So I paid, what did I say, a buck a piece? Or I think I paid a dollar for both of them because they were on, you know, the color that was half off and I think they were a buck. Um, they may have been a dollar a piece though. But either way, so cute. And nobody, um, you know, I don't know if that's really what they're for is ink, but I can totally put dragon's ink in there or bat blood ink or fairy ink or whatever. I'll try to do some recipes for inks in case you guys don't know them. Um, okay, candles. God, I get a ton of candles. I always only get them when they are half off. Um, you always look for these. Um, Goodwill especially is good for packing up these jars full of crap and putting a couple bucks on them. Uh, I paid a buck for this one because there was something in here that I, oh, there's candles. There's uh, tea light candles. So um, I paid a dollar for it because I thought, oh, that'd be nice. And then when I got it out of there, look at there's little candle holders. Now they're a little bit wide to be for spell candles but I'm sure I can find, you know, short spell candles or something that I can do that with. There's a whole bunch of tea light candles in here. I think I paid $2.50 for this. Friendships warms the heart. I'll probably give that away when I do a trade. There's a little frame. Okay, isn't that a cute little frame? Um, these little frames are really good if you're doing ancestor altars. I have a bunch of these little frames and I trade out, you know, when I get sick of the frames that they're in, I kind of trade them out, put them in different frames um, of your ancestors. And they are great for them because I have a bunch that I have to put in there. And uh, there's, I found this is a little tin pill box. There it is. Really cute. So that was in there. There was one other thing in there that I still am not sure how much this is worth. I cannot find another one like it. So I'm kind of excited. It's very vintage. I believe, what's it say on there? Copyrighted General MF Manufacturing MFG, I probably, patent pending. And um, it looks silver. I don't know if it's steel or silver. That looks like mother of pearl on it. And it has uh, the alphabet all around there. And I thought, well, that's different for a pillbox. Well, when I opened it up, I realized it is not a pillbox. It is a very old vintage phone and address book, looker upper thing. And it is, the year is from 1959. 1959. And when you Put, pull this around you pull this around and it goes to 
whatever you stop at. So this is a uh, at God, I need my glasses, guys. I'm sorry. M. So it stops. That's where M is. Um, but I have not seen another one. I have not been able to find. I looked on eBay. I looked on Etsy. I have not been able to find another one like this. So I had to keep looking and see if this could be worth some money. And I found it in a stupid little dollar jar thing with a bunch of other stupid little things in it. So keep your eyes out. You never know what is in there. Um, okay. I got at uh, Goodwill the other day this game called Da Vinci's Challenge. And see, it has the flower of life in there. And I was like, this is so cool. When I opened it up, I'll try to, it has a whole bunch of little pieces in there. Ooh, my, I've already dropped a couple of pieces. But it has a game board with the flower of life on it. Ignore that. I don't answer that phone. Thank you. Um, and it has, this is the, it has little, uh, the game is you put all these little pieces, which are little shapes. Hang on. Sorry guys, the pharmacy for my aunt. I don't answer that phone for a reason. Uh, See, it has all these little pieces, and one of you is black, and one of you is cream or white. And you get points for how many sacred geometry um, shapes you make. So, um, I got it because I wanted to, you know, sacred geometry, and I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't really know what was in there. But that will help you to use the sacred geometry shapes, which will um, help you put intentions out into the universe. Um, anyway, so I paid two bucks for it. And I honestly, I can't remember if it was that color tag or not. So I either paid one or two dollars. But yeah, right? Um, I went to a yard sale. Oh, I know what I'm forgetting. There's something over there I gotta show you too. I went to a yard sale and I bought, uh, I specifically looked uh, in the yard sale ads, guys. Um, for because you know how yard sale ads now when you go on craigslist the good ones will have pictures so look at those pictures if you're looking at garage sales which garage sales to go through look at those pictures because a lot of times you can tell if they're going to have metaphysical type items in there or not when i went a couple weeks ago i went to a garage sale that was about 15 minutes away which i normally wouldn't on purpose because i saw a tarot deck and i thought okay you never know, but usually if they're at a garage sale, they're selling them for really cheap. They might not have any idea what they have, and they didn't. I got, hang on, I'm still here. Um, damn it. Okay, sorry. I'm going to get it in just a second. I got this there, which is uh, a carafe and four little pottery cups which are totally awesome for chalices this would be great for a coven i spent five dollars on that she also had which these were not in the pictures guys but i saw a tarot deck so she had a cauldron yay um very old cast iron cauldron uh, which I'm going to re-season and will be like, like new, perfect. And I put, I spent $3 on it and it's very old and it's in great shape. There's no, it's not real thin at the bottom or anything. It's dirty. I mean, it's obviously been out in the garage and stuff, but you can re-season this no problem. Oil and you, you rub the oil on it. Actually first kind of sandpaper to get all the stuff off, wash it off, get all the stuff off. Then you rub olive oil over it, put it in the oven for an hour, take it back out, let it cool, sand a little bit if you need to. You should only have to do that once or twice though. Put more olive oil on, put it back in the oven for an hour. I don't recommend doing that in the summertime because the oven has to be on for a good couple hours. Um, probably this one will take me three or four times 
with the oil and stuff to re-season it. But it will come out looking gorgeous, and I'll show it to you when it's all done. So let me go find that deck hanger. Okay, guys, I apologize. I am so truly annoyed that I cannot find this deck. Um, the first time I did this video, I was upstairs. So I ran upstairs to see if I had left it up there. And I don't see it. But I'm not the most organized person in the world. Can you guess that? Ooh, that's too much light back there, isn't it? That would screw this up. Ooh, that's better. Okay. Uh, so I will show it to you. It was a vintage deck, though. It was kind of the Marseille style. It was like a 1960s deck. It was in great shape. I will find it. I have it someplace. But I paid $5 for this deck. So it was great. With the cauldron and all that stuff, it was great. And then I also, this was a Goodwill I found the other day. And this was a Purple Tag Day. And it was um, $5. So I paid $2.50. And this is, see the sugar skulls? How cute is that? And this is super long. This is a really long table runner and it's reversible. So the other side is like harvest. So Mabin and um, Samhain and Day of the Dead. Dios les muertes. Um, so totally great deals. Um, I feel like I can't see back here, but I think it's just me. I hope it's just me. <laughs> so I bought you know, this whole box of, they are like rub-on stencils. Look at, there's flowers and birds. Can you see the birds? And like ivy leaves. And there's like a whole bunch of pages in there, guys. I don't even know how many. And look at the rose. How pretty that is. There's a couple different roses. There's more birds. Look at the hummingbirds and the butterflies. And then on the other side, it's almost like a fleur de lis. Uh, more fleur de lis, more roses. Oh, come on, camera. There, look at those roses. Um, so I bought the whole box for $2. <laughs> at a garage sale. Uh, where a man was, and he didn't want to deal with stuff, and he was like, I said, how much do you want, like, for the whole box? And he's like, I don't know, a couple bucks. <laughs> okay, deal. Uh, so, uh, the box of fabric. I, don't, I haven't really gone through this very much. But look, at, when I say a box of fabric, I mean a box of fabric. Um, there was some, like this stuff is real thick and heavy duty. It's almost like upholstering fabric. Um, and there's several lengths in there. It's not like this is the only one. Um, and I use this stuff to line when I get vintage silverware boxes, which I get actually from this woman at work who uh, owns a pawn shop and they take the silver out when they get these silverware things and she gives me the old boxes. So I sand all the inside, I sand the outside, sometimes I burn stuff on the outside, make them altar boxes. And we use uh, like vintage fabrics and stuff to line the inside of the boxes because usually the insides are kind of crappy looking or they're, you know, that old red or blue velvety looking stuff or that's not very witchy or conducive to anything we do so look at really ugly fabric but you know I paid five dollars for this whole box so there is look at that was this shimmery black and gold stuff that'll be good for the inside of the box there was these daisies and flowers and that's black and white or navy and white kind of hard to tell um, there is some pretty springy fabrics. There is, and I don't know, I keep fabric remnants probably way too long. My husband will probably be like, ah, yeah. I, look at that vintage looking fabric. I love that. <laughs> I know, I'm goofy, but 
So there's a, a huge box of all this fabric stuff. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, this could be very pretty, guys. Oh, look at the koi fish. Ooh, I love that one. So I will find something to do with that one. But anyways, I didn't really know what was in this box. I just knew it was a whole box of fabrics, and he was telling me five bucks. I took it without a problem. I got um, from the same guy. That's the other part of my how to get great deals. From the same, if you can get a bunch of stuff from the same person, and you get a whole bunch of stuff, you get better deals usually. If you're saying, hey, I'll buy a whole bunch of your crap, they will keep going lower on prices. So at the same place, I bought a professional easel because my husband does art. Uh, a huge, it's right around the corner, hang on. Okay, so this huge canvas bag that has a drawing board included. Um, and it's to put your finished works in or what you're working on at the time. Um, so, and it's got a hard board in there. And the guy did not see, and honestly, I didn't either. Or I wouldn't have, you know, totally screwed this guy. But this says $39.95 on it. Okay. But this has a board in it, and it has a ton of that canvasy kind of paper. Like this is brand new watercolorist paper. Um, and there's like four or five sheets in this package. And then there's a bunch in here. And there was like the, you know, this, whatever you call it when you're matting out the paint and all that stuff. I'm not an artist, guys, sorry. but And one of those. And there's like a whole drawing sketch pad that is like professional artist stuff. And then there was a bunch of paints in here. Oh yeah, there's smaller watercolor paper. Um, where is the paint? Oh, here's some of it. Right, there's a whole bunch of paints and brushes and an exacto knife, which I guess they need. I don't know something. I'm not an artist, but all this stuff and an extra board which has something to do with the, the easel, the professional easel that I got. Um, and I paid 20 bucks for everything. <laughs> for all the art supplies, I paid 20 bucks and that was his Father's Day present. So, I mean, it, really guys, uh, like I said, the biggest tip I can tell you is men. If men are there, you can bargain with them a little bit easier usually because women get emotionally attached to their stuff. Um, and, uh, especially with the Craigslist where they do a lot of the garage sales on there you can look at those pictures and you can kind of tell what kind of stuff they will have